Hello and welcome to What The Hey. Thank you for joining me to learn the answer to a question that I received. And when I go to my notebook of knowledge, I see that the question is written as who the hey is Cliffs? And this question comes from Marcus. So hello to you and thank you very much for the request. So to officially start with this video, what I'm gonna do is give like my own interpretation and answer and description to this question, just so there's like basic knowledge of the answer to this question. So if I had to give my own answer from like doing my research and looking over this channel and its different aspects and features, I would say that Cliffs is like a Roblox digital locomotive model content creator. To back this up very quickly, if you look at the like channel bio about section for Cliffs, they quite literally say in a more humorous version uh, that they make choo-choo Roblox models. So overall, the main content and the purpose of the channel is for like viewers to see them make like locomotive models mainly related to like Thomas the Tank Engine, Thomas and Friends, but it's all done digitally in Roblox because surprisingly, a lot of people make videos for like the Thomas and Friends fandom in Roblox because there's programs and games for that, which is very cool. Uh, but regardless, this channel does model stuff with trains and locomotives. That's the main thing you need to know. Now, if this is your first time hearing about the channel or you've never seen any of their work before, I will have the channel actually tagged in the description. So that's like the easiest and most direct way to find them. However, I will point out the fact that this channel does have other social media accounts online. The two specific cases of this would be their Roblox account, so you can kind of connect with them that way, specifically like as an example, if you play Roblox, you can like join them on Roblox, that's cool. Um, but another way you can kind of stay up to date with them and kind of connect with their content is by going to their Discord server, uh, which I guess is kind of like a more fun way to actually interact with the community and people that know Cliffs. Uh, but those are the other two accounts that they have aside from YouTube that are like officially listed. Now the next thing that I would like to very briefly mention is the actual history and community of this channel because for me at least I feel like it's really cool to like see where a channel started and where they're at now. Uh, which in the case of Cliffs, they decided to join YouTube on February 5th of 2021. The channel has around 69,000 views, around 1.3 thousand subscribers, and around 26 different videos. Now another category that I would like to talk about when discussing this channel are the different features that you can kind of look at and access with their YouTube account. Now one of the things you can kind of look into with this channel which isn't like video format related would be the community posts that they have. Most of which are like pictures of the actual locomotive models that they've made so you can see their creation process and I guess the results of it. So there's a lot of pictures of those. And then occasionally like way back, something that I saw that I thought was really cool um, was a few drawings that they did of different like model expressions that they drew. So like you kind of get to see their art as well. I really like those. There's not that many posts about that, but they occasionally have those in there. Another feature of this channel that Cliffs has occasionally tapped into would be the live streams that they've done in the past. Which with the live streams that they've done in the past, I would say that they're essentially split up into two different kind of genres or categories. On one hand, with some of the live streams, it's Cliffs like creating digital locomotives on Roblox. So in a more face-to-face -face setting, I guess, you get to see how they do it, how they pick the colors and everything, which I think is cool because I've never done that myself. So it is kind of fun to just see how that's done. But then sometimes some of the other live streams are like video game related, like they're playing Roblox games and stuff. So if you want to see them be an epic gamer, you can. So for this next section of the video, what I'm going to do is list three specific actual examples of videos from this channel, just so you can actually see what they do. Starting with the oldest video on the channel, which is titled The Sad Story of Henry Tab Instrumental, which was uploaded on July 28th of 2022. The newest video is titled Get Out of My Way, which was uploaded on April 9th of 2024. And the most popular video is titled The Sad Tale of Henry the Engine Clip Roblox Remake, which was uploaded on December 18th of 2023 and has around 44,000 views. 
So for this last section of the video, what I'm gonna do is list some of like my feedback and impressions with like doing my research and looking into the channel in general. So first and foremost, this channel does not provide any clickbait. Cause as I've mentioned multiple times, this channel, what most of their content is, is making digital Roblox locomotive models. And that's literally most of their content. So if you like this kind of stuff, I would say this is a good channel to check out. Something that I find very interesting about people who like locomotives in general, but specifically with this channel because that's what I'm talking about, is the fact that they pay very close attention to the details of the models that they're making. Like they base it off of legit stuff. So I think it's really cool that people like this can actually make stuff that looks realistic and accurate, but they're doing it in programs like Roblox, which you think they would kind of be limited by the resources, but like the stuff that they make looks legit Legit. like it's really cool for me personally this type of content is something that I don't really seek out I don't really watch in my free time so for me if I was gonna say like what kind of content I would look forward to with this channel would possibly be seeing more gaming content or possibly seeing more art that they post like the drawn stuff because I saw the expressions charts that they made and I thought they looked really cool like the style for that is awesome um, so I would say if I had any, you know, suggestions, maybe trying content like that out more. But then again, if you're making choo-choo, you know, Roblox models, you're doing a great job. Once again, if this channel is new to you and you'd like to look into their content more, I'll have them tagged in the description so that's like the most obvious way to find them. Uh, but I believe that is the answer to the question, so thank you very much for watching. Bye!